Capricorn, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a 2024 reading for you. We're going to do a little bit of a look into 2024. Uh, we'll do nine cards, past, present and future. Past energy is the energy you're taking into the year. Uh, current energy, energy you're going to be dealing with. And the future energy is the potential outcome. We can also read diagonally up, which will be the positives. Diagonally down, which will be the potential negatives. And the middle row across will be your advice next steps. It will make sense to me and I will convey that to the best of my abilities to you. Um, you can watch this for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 10th house, this could be for you. Um, once again, uh, you, you know the drill. Thank you so much for all the support in whatever way it comes. Um, it's very much appreciated. It allows me to continue doing this. Um, cross watches your mom and welcome. Message may, where will, may well be for you. Description box has all the information you need, including the website link for private reads, which have now reopened, seeing as I'm settled and I'm going to be here for a, a good while. Um, so the littlest hobo has stopped um, his movement for the time being. So let's uh, let's dive in, Capricorn. Let's do three more. Are you excited? 2024, the end of Pluto in Capricorn. Excitement doesn't even cover it. Okay, the energy you're bringing in. Nice. Okay. I like it. You, you, yep, yeah, definitely. Current energy. Interesting. And the potential outcome. Beautiful. Be, be, it, yeah, I, yeah. Um, it's it's wonderful. I dare say there's a few Capricorns out there. I don't think it'd be the ones watching me. Um, you've done the work, but there were some that haven't. Um, interesting. High Priestess, the Six of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Hierophant and the Sun. Justice, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, the Moon and Judgment. So. Okay. Interesting. So the past, the past energy, it's, it's weird. It's like you, you're going into the year really, really kind of confident I feel like the emphasis here seems to be on how much Pluto has done a number on you. And to a certain degree, I think it's done such a number on you that there's a part of you that may have forgot how to be joyful. It comes back. It comes back. So um, there's, there's definitely... Um, I mean, you can't even make this up. I mean, past energy, we've got the devil. First card, it's you guys. You are, the, you are the devil. It's Capricorn energy. The two of wands and the ten of pentacles. Now, the devil is confidence, it's ambition, and it's your card. So you're coming into the year. It's like, I know what I want. I know the decisions I need to make. Um, I know the plans I want to achieve the ten of pentacles. It's like you're coming into it with that energy. You come, your current energy, though, we have the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Death card. So there could be some sort of disappointments, but I'm, I'm more getting an energy here of expectation. I think Pluto, has, because obviously this is Pluto and this is Capricorn, so uh, Pluto and Capricorn, I think a show has given you that many obstacles, there's just an assumption that it's coming. There's more. And... The universe is saying, you've done your shadow work. You've done a lot of your shadow work. Obviously, it never ends. There's always something to um, something to alchemise with. Um, but it's about mastering yourself. Future energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, this is Capricorn again. So this is you coming into the year powerful and then the, the end of the year um, will be powerful as well because it's your core card. Queen of Pentacles. And look at the shiny um, pentacle here. It's actually a mirror. So there's something that's mirroring. So if we look at the mirror aspect of the devil, yes, it's the lovers in a sense because they're similar cards, but I'm getting like angel demon. So I'm getting more 
um, temperance, alchemy. Um, salt and water, I'm hearing. Salt and water. Ah, the, okay. Uh, all right, I know what this is about. Um, there's a verse in the Upanishads about salt and water. So the conversation is between like a father and son and the father dissolves a cube of salt in water and then asks the son to 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 find the salt. Obviously he can't because it's, it's dissolved. Uh, however, he finds it when he can taste it. So there's something here, it's like, there's something about um, recognizing the ever presence of the divine or your guides or whatever you want to believe in. You might not be able to see it, but if you choose to believe it, it's there. There's an energy that's a presence that's around you. And what's happened here is Pluto has transformed you and essentially he's going to be with you for the rest of your life, but it's in, in terms of what it's created you. Because the future energy, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, which is your card. We then have the Two of Cups, which is beautiful. That means there's somebody coming into your life. Uh, ooh, two weeks. Some of you, there could be something happening in two weeks because I'm looking straight across because we've got two of ones, five of cups, two of cups, two, five, two, two of 52. So there could be something happening in two weeks. What's happening in two weeks? 24th, Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. I know we've got the Venus Uranus opposition on the 21st. Um, interesting but the final card is four of pentacles which is the sun in capricorn it's like you're all over this spread which is amazing but look at that does that not just say death and the capricorn energy pluto in capricorn has done a number of you on you and you have gathered the lessons because of it and i believe there is going to be prosperity from it I believe these are lessons that you're going to carry with you, um, but don't hold on too much. There's there's there's, a, there's an aspect of shadow Scorpio here, um, and there could be something about the Five of Cups energy of being able to let something go and trusting that whatever's for you will come for you. Whether this is a an opportunity, whether this is a person, whatever it is, uh, there's a there's a need to trust. A situation here um obviously there's still shadow energies to to work on uh, with the mirror aspect and i kind of feel like the universe is saying here the divine is always here in all experiences and all answers are within you because you are the water as well as the salt there's something about alchemy how you transmute and it's interesting, we've got, um, I think I spoke to you last week about this. Uh, I used the example in a Taurus reading and it was called Mastering the Energies. And I, I, I physically went to my um, Pluto line in Cuba and was met with chaos. Um, but I faced my fears with it. And uh, I, I speak about it in the Taurus. I think I mentioned this last week, I could have done. But there's something about now that you've learned the lessons of Pluto, now we face them. We face them directly and we face them head on. The good things come in. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. What was lost is going to be replaced. Whatever regards that is, possibly financially, possibly emotional uh, disappointments. Um, I almost feel like as well, you could have disappointed some sort of family members or not, you know, done something in terms of maybe uh, what the family want. Uh, they're, they're going to see how successful you're going to be. The rabbit indicates uh, success. Um, and I, it's strange because I kind of, I know it's been tough for you. I, I, I read your comments. I, I, I know even 2023 has been um, draining. I want you to look at this year as being extremely successful. I think it's been successful because I, I believe you've recognized certain aspects of yourself you've recognized what it is that you don't want anymore and you've recognized what it is that you do want 
And that's the energy you're bringing into this year. Devil, two of wands, ten of pentacles. And maybe this is mourning what you thought you wanted and now you have to let go. But the two of cups is there. Right there by the end of the year. Obviously, it's not an imminent timing process, but um, uh, if anything, I would say it's probably, if it's, it's, if it's something to do with romance and partnerships, I would say it's towards the beginning of the year, purely because um, Jupiter is in your fifth house and then moves into your sixth house. So Jupiter in your sixth house could indicate a massive change in diets, daily habits, really stepping into um, um, an energy of... Ooh. Ooh, Capricorn, I like this. The five of Cups and the Two of Cups is the Seven of Cups. And as soon as I added them together, I heard, and especially with the Seven of Cups next to the High Priestess, um, is, is a path being cleared. And I heard the Seven, the Seven Blessings of Eve. Let's have a look what that means. Seven Blessings of Eve. A card of spiritual gifts. Interesting. A modern interpretation of a beautiful Jewish ritual, I'm hearing. Let's have a read of this. Seven Blessings of Eve. Okay, love, a loving home, humour and play, wisdom, health, art, beauty, creativity and community. Oh, wow. Capricorn, you are getting a lot of blessings here. So let's check out where that... Uh, I want to check out where the sun card is because we've got the devil here and this is the sun in Capricorn, so the sun meets the devil. Um, I want to check out the seven of cups for this seven blessings of Eve. If we add the six of cups as well, it's the queen of cups. Interesting. Queen of cups is with the five of swords and the, and the hierophant. The five of swords is that Venus opposition um it's it's venus in aquarius which is venus and uranus in opposition on the 21st of this month as we step into capricorn season there could be something coming maybe something to do with um spiritual growth um downloads possibly so and there was some straight afterwards with justice nice okay there's something very positive coming before the end of the year that's going to give you this confidence to march into 2024. I don't know what it is. It could be a, a download. It could be a situation where you know which direction to take. You could be, um, you know, the two of ones can represent um, crossroads, uh, especially with the sort of uh, this shadow energy of, of of with the death card here this could be connecting with maybe hecate the uh, the goddess of crossroads but you know at the end of the day crossroads are we can't move past a crossroad without making a decision or a choice so there could be a choice that comes up and the seven of cups is with the seven of pentacles and the um star card Wow, this is something to do with your destiny because we've got 1777, so 17777. Seven, 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 seven. Um, but it's also a date, seventh year, 2023. 17th of the seventh was the shift of the nodes. The nodes moved out of um, Pluto energy, Scorpio, uh, and the Hierophant, which is next to that um, uh, Queen of Cups and moved into Aries, Self, and Libra partnerships. It kind of feels like you've just been set up for, uh, for wonderful things here. I like it. Okay. Yeah, and the Three of Cups is with the Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So there could be some sort of... Um... Interesting, I said this to Sagittarius earlier, so you might have Sagittarius placements. I'll be dealing with a Sag. Um, but there was a weird word that I came across. Mamila pin, pinatapai. 
a look shared by two people, each wishing that the other would initiate something that they both desire, but which neither wants to begin. Um, so there could be something like that going on here. And maybe that's the disappointment. Maybe that's what's this energy. Um, but there's an element of trust here that what's for you is for you. There's a two of cups energy in the future. A again, even if this isn't anything romantic or, or um, love aspects, this could be certain opportunities that you want. Um, you know, this could be a situation where you go for a, the interview for the job that you really want and you ace the interview. Say there's three people on, on the board and um, there has to be a unanimous yes from all three for you to get the job and only, you know, two are a massive yes for you, um, but the third doesn't. It could be something like that. It doesn't have to be about um, a relationship as such, but it feels like there's something that two people desire that's just not being said. However, there is an embrace in the future. So whatever um, whatever's coming your way is certainly coming your way. And I, for me, I would look at this as a wonderful thing. Pluto has ripped you apart and rebuilt you. And then all three of the main Capricorn cards, one core card, one major arcana, and the sun in Capricorn are all in a nine card spread, which is fantastic. Financial success without question, queen of pentacles and the four of pentacles, that is comfort. Ten of pentacles, death and the four of pentacles. Uh, there could be some, and, and don't panic, it doesn't, doesn't mean somebody has to um, pass away. Uh, but there could be some sort of uh, inheritances coming in here with the Ten of Pentacles, Death and the Four of Pentacles. Inheritance, we can look at it in a, in a completely different sense. This could be somebody uh, leaving you something, gifting you something. It could be anything, so don't worry about that. Okay. Interesting. So wonderful things coming. I just want to check out the tower quickly. Um because the centre of your spread is Mars in Scorpio. It had a Kazemi uh, just recently, um, where Mars was Kazemi with the Sun. And it's just interesting because it was during the Scorpio season. And if we look at your present energy, we've got Five of Cups, Mars in Scorpio. We have Scorpio and we have Sun in Scorpio. So there's something about November, something, I think it was the 17th of November, something very, very pivotal happened. Um, something was shone, maybe uh, you were shown something that you really wanted to do. Maybe you were just given a boost of energy for something. Um, but with it being Mars in Scorpio, and we've got Scorpio here, uh, I just want to see where Mars is, which is the Tower. Or the Emperor, but uh, I'm more going with Tower. So I feel like it was something that was... Come to shake things up. <laughs> who needs who needs it's next to the emperor okay so there could have been a big decision um but we've got the tower is with the emperor the wheel of fortune and the page of wands something dramatic happened you might not be aware of what this is but it involves you so this could be something that's happened in the background this could be somebody that's had a realization about you it feels like it hasn't happened directly to you strangely enough um, interesting. But something took place during that Kazemi. That energy is going to be with you for a couple of years. Um, so whatever it is that's kind of happened, direct it into the direction you want. Um, because success is, is, is yours for the taking. Ambition, drive. Uh, and like I say, your, your energy is all over this spread. Which means you're stepping into the year with the power. And you're stepping out of the year with the power as well. First and last card. Capricorn, Sun in Capricorn. Go find your son. Okay. Let's, um, in your extended, I want to see what this uh, two of cups, um, let's, what should we do? We're just going to take an overall, we'll, we're just going to dive in what stepping into your power represents. We'll take its energy, what we know, what we don't know, recent past advice, potential outcome. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. Capricorn, Mars in Aries, Mercury in 
uh, Virgo, Sun in Scorpio, Mars in Scorpio, Scorpio. We have Venus in Cancer, Sun in Capricorn, Cancer Pisces, Mercury in Aquarius, Venus in Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Sun in Aries, Cancer Pisces, Libra Scorpio, Saturn in Taurus, Venus in Scorpio, Aquarius, Mar uh, Mercury in Cancer, Moon in Libra. Wands, Cups, Pentacles, Swords, everyone's here. Those are your standouts. Take care. See you soon. Bye.